21 Central Florida, who used to be in this conference, now moving on to the Big 12, doing their own thing. As we are just moments away from first touch here at the University of Tulsa. Well, Thank you for everyone tuning in tonight as we get settled in. Sorry about that, but you know what they say about rivalry. Rankings are out the window. Doesn't matter. Tonight is, a, is, is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, look for it to be chippy, intense. Uh, these two sides do not like each other, uh, to say the least. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see them on the road and see how they attack tonight because uh, this team definitely has some firepower. Can we just get Jeffus basically being the quarterback of this team tonight? Lopez way out this year. He's taking the majority of their throws from this spot. And he's, he's almost acting as more corners. It's just dangerous, causing havoc in the box. Maybe even so used to defending and shuffling their feet. Sex ball. Keeper comes out. Swiped at him. Or a wall. Ball played through. Yuki off of the deflection. Shot there. Johnson. Just enough of it. Sent it over the top of the crossbar. It right, was on frame. Had a little bit of pace behind it. And Johnson had to spring into action quickly. I mean, this all comes from keeping SMU on one half, finding that little slip pass, a nice little ricochet, and why not? Why not have a go? Why not have a chance? You never know what could happen there. And great technique, great save. Throw-ins uh, that you would probably believe, and this is something that is definitely dangerous. The distance there. Our fullbacks go high and kind of creating that overload. It's a ball that's played through on the ground. Protek leaves it, leaves it off there. A shot comes off. Oh, that was a rocket. Aguilar had an opportunity. Still not out of danger yet. Eichendahl directly at the keeper. That's it down. Here the crowd come to life here. Tulsa, watch this. See this ball just being whipped in right on that PK spot. Touch and Sparks takes it on the dribble. Tried to test him near Rios for Wyatt. Has some help with Vargas. Vargas curling ball towards the back post, the header. Oh, wasted opportunity. Brilliantly set up. And Eichendahl see him clapping both of his hands together, but you can see here, Paul respecting that space, you know, his ability to take 1v1 and an absolute peach of a ball to the back post. And just breathtaking not to see that one end up in the back of the net. All played through on the ground. Tulsa going to get a clearance still not completely out of there. The bike attempt and that is wide of frame. Typically in those situations over there with that throw in as well, there just wasn't enough time to get Westergaard over there for the long throw in and we will Head to half, scoreless here. As you see, both both have played his role perfectly so far. Yeah, it, right now Tulsa has done a very good job of winning the ball, playing to Lopez's feet, starting that attack. You feeling it a bit here. Some of the possession here to open up. Kept it on the ground. It's Cooper King. I'll sit back in. Settled there. An opportunity here. Off of the deflection, Lopez comes up massive. That is that danger on that back post. All matched up evenly. What a great layoff that is. And just free in the box. He, he might want that one back just to at least get it on target, get something happy with the way this one started. Petraeus has been a problem so far since he has come in. I believe that's a warning shot. Uh, if, if you're this Tulsa side, you're this back line, that is a warning shot. He's starting to pick up that ball and just offside, right or left of a guy, and getting on the ball. Good look at a ball. Played squarely, service back through. Dahlman is there, he pulls it back, trying to keep it on the ground, and then cleaned up. Oh, Aguilar. What a lovely piece of skill from Pino there, the composure. Sees everybody. Cuts it back to see you later. Just one more time. Boy spins away from it there and a goal. And SMU strikes first. And you've seen it that entire first half. Harvey Castro has just been tough.
tidy, nifty, clever. I mean, the amount of times you've seen him just take guys on, be able to create some space for himself, and what an absolute one-man wonder show this is. Shields the body off, rolls it, tuts it back to his left, and bangs it to the back post. Yeah, we highlighted him at the beginning for a reason, and you could really see. And Coach Hudson had told me, you know, that's a guy, again, that was balancing between being a... And just raise Gorios. And curling ball to his header, and the flag is up. I was just about to say, there it is. Exactly the kind of response and what you wanted to see. What a ball. Unfortunate to be offside. Now they've got to be careful. SMU went so fast. Lopez was tracking back. Here's another look at it. Thought it was so well timed, but 1v1. Off of the deflection that's there. Taka Wyatt holds it back for Nils. Nils' shots deflected away. Second block of the night right in front of goal. Why the keepers had so many. Got the crowd up in the alumni tent there from behind. Okay. Maybe a standing leg might have been clipped there. Here's Yuki with his attempt towards the near. Sends this one. Driven there. Not much on it. Johnson has it. Applegate. Well done from him. Good look. Played there in the box. We'll take that. Corner. Maybe even a free kick. Grotzik. Good ball there. Two Tulsa players were in the vicinity. It's still free. Comes all the way back out to Brozik. Have this crowd and this energy start to feel like it's going to turn here. The ball played centrally. Can they give it back to him? He's on. Cuts back to the inside. Finding a way, and that one's going to be wide of frame. Petraeus almost. There's that shot of energy I was speaking on. He has been like shot out of a cannon the way he's played in this second half. He's been so bright, so energetic. And the pace, the one-two. I mean, the wherewithal to cut this back. Say, I'll see you tomorrow, but just can't finish it. I know he wants that back, but... What just a, this right, just a little bit too far for him to be able to turn back into that. Yeah. He knew it too. Absolutely fantastic. There's some energy that, that needs to be shot into this Tulsa side. Turn. The defender goes out to clear it over there and finishes off an SMU. Oh, I was just patient with it. And Ortiz, who came on as a sub just a few moments ago, sends SMU off to the races 2-0 now. And just a patient approach with them as he had so much space out there on that wing. And we'll get a view of it right here. Played the ball out wide. You can see Vargas comes up kind of, kind of limp. I think he's become injured. But, I mean, give credit to Ortiz to be able to take this. I, I don't know if that's the near post or not, but so much time, so much space. They felt as though this was probably going to be served in, but he said, why? Corey Wall. Yuki, left foot of ball all the way across the face of the box. Here's Morales. Back heel. Jeffus, right footed ball from Jeffus found its way through. Those others had been blocked, but still Johnson saw it through the traffic. Good little awareness. Jeffus back to his right foot. And the nice little deflection. There's the goal scorer with another ball that was directly on target there, just saved from Jeffus. Morales, head up, looking towards the corner. It's Yuki. Came back there. 
type of run can you get here? Morales just over the top, too much. Just a bit too much on it. He regrets it, but it's a good looking ball. You see the idea, it's in the right area, in the right space, but just a bit too. Edwards lying down behind the wall. Yep. It's a shot that's there. Lopez comes up with the save. Great track there from Yuki. Regardless of the time of the game, he makes a save. You stay engaged. Oh, Dahlman pulls back. Oh, spins away. I think he has a go here. Morales deflected straight up in the air. Keeper comes off and kept off the line, but that's going to be coming back the other direction. And another save off the line. I mean, yep. the, the amount of times that these defenders have had a block, you know, cleared off the line, haven't given up on the play. Very smart here to have, to, you know, just to continue behind your goalkeeper and make sure that you keep the great away. I mean, they are going to be at the top of the American Athletic Conference standings at the end of this one. And credit to SMU tonight. They took their chances uh, when they had it. And that is the final as the number four team in the country.